Hey, hey everyone, and a welcome in. It's a Monkey Mar. Before we get into uh, today's uh, video, uh, make sure you click that subscribe button, the bell for notifications, and of course, uh, the like. Let's go ahead and get into Erica Lloyd, the one missing out in the Walnut Creek, California area, and her parents were actually out there a couple days ago. And with that, let's get into today's video. Okay, so for all of you that do know who Erica Lloyd is, and for all of you that do not know who Erica Lloyd is, I actually made a video part one. So check that out if you want, but I'm going to recap on it. Her parents were actually out at Joshua Tree looking for Erica, and um, I'm going to attach that link below in the description. So the search is on for missing Walnut Creek woman, Erica Ashley Lloyd, last seen leaving the Walnut Creek area last week for a road trip to Joshua Tree National Park. Her car was found abandoned days later on Highway 62 near Joshua Tree Park National. National la, 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 Joshua Tree National Park. We came to Joshua Tree looking for our daughter Erica, said Wayne Lloyd, father of Erica Lloyd. Erica Lloyd's parents make an emotional plea to help bring her home. We are just asking if anybody has seen her car or her or seen her since to let the authorities know, said Lloyd. Her son Chase is waiting for her and that he loves her very much. This is heartbreaking. According to San Bernardino Sheriff's Department, the family reported Erica Ashley Lloyd missing on Wednesday, June 17th. But on Tuesday, the 16th, California Highway Patrol found Lloyd's card abandoned near Highway 62 near 29 Palms. The Sheriff's Department believes Lloyd was traveling to Joshua Tree National Park to camp, but it's still unclear if she came by herself or with a group. When the vehicle was noticed inside of the campgrounds, there was no camping equipment directly associated with or in the vicinity of it. See, now that doesn't make sense because in the first article that I read, her car was blocking the road to, I believe it's Shelton Drive, but I'm going to go back and look now because these two stories are definitely contradicting one or the other. So, no camping gear was found, said Nathan Lowe's park ranger for Joshua Tree National Park, so we can't confirm or deny that the individual camped or stayed in the park. Posters with Lloyd's face are posted throughout the campground and it hopes someone has seen her. Joshua Tree's search and rescue members teamed up and set out on an early search to retrace her steps to help find clues to Lloyd's disappearance. Miss Lloyd's vehicle did have broken windshield and rear windshield as well, said Lewis. We don't know the clothing Miss Lloyd was wearing or when she was last seen. We can look for clues like broken glass, any jewelry that you might find out there, said Lewis. That's interesting too, that comment. We can look for clues like broken glass, any jewelry that you might find out there. Okay, so I guess jewelry out in the campsite area if people are camping there. According to park rangers who are patrolling the Jumbo Rocks campground on Tuesday, spotted a vandalized black Honda Accord parked near number 47 and 48 campsite. But the ranger said the security footage shows the vehicle leaving the park Tuesday night. Yeah, something's definitely not right about this. After about four hours of searching, crew members gathered back up to share information on what they saw. News Channel 3, Danny Romero asked Park Ranger Lewis if the clues found today were associated with the case. We can't definitely say at this time, said Lewis. 
I thank everyone that has been helping us while we have been out here, said Lloyd. And then, of course, if you have anyone you know has information regarding this case, is asked to contact the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department, Morongo Basin Station, at the 760-366-4175. And, of course, I'm going to post that below. But who mentioned clues? Now her car is vandalized between 47 and 48 number of the campsite in Jumbo Rocks Campground. Yeah, we're going to have to go look. But the ranger said security footage shows the vehicle leaving the park Tuesday night. So Tuesday night was when... But how was that if the car was found Tuesday yeah, something's not right with this story. All right, let me see um, why things are not adding up. Because according to the first part that came out, it was Erica Lloyd missing on Wednesday, June 17th. But on Tuesday, California Highway Patrol found Lloyd's car abandoned near Highway 82 near 20. Nine palms. Okay, I'm going to show you that article real quick that was in the first video because if Wednesday she was reported missing on Wednesday, the car was found on Tuesday, but then it was seen leaving the campground Tuesday night. Are you not catching what I'm catching? Something is definitely contradicting the story. Back in Twitter on 2020 with the Missing Persons Planet, 37-year-old Erica Lloyd was last seen in Walnut Creek, California on June 14th. She told her sister-in-law she was worried about COVID-19 and was going camping for a few days to unplug. Erica's car, a black 2006 Honda Accord, was found vandalized off of CA-62 and Shelton Road. All right, let's get into this story real quick before we take a road trip out to the area they're searching. The area at Shelton where her car was mentioned the first time. And then let's go look and see if we can get near the inside the entrance to the campground where the car was found. And I found a third article now that says both windows were beaten out and the dashboard looked like it had been beaten. So... Okay, so the car was vandalized in 29 Palms. So Erica Lloyd talked to her parents on the East Coast in the morning of June 15th, according to Lloyd's sister-in-law, the day before the car was found and seen on the camera leaving the park. Erica was very stressed about the coronavirus and the quarantine and was going to go camping for a few days to unplug, despite the fact that she is not an experienced camper. But if we come into this article a little further, park rangers found Erica's car vandalized Monday at Indian Cove Campground in Joshua Tree National Park. Lloyd said the windows and windshields had been broken and the dashboard inside had been beaten. Rangers left a note on the car noting the damage when they checked back Monday night. The car was gone. Monday night. So on Tuesday... A CHP officer found the beat-up car on Shelton Road, east of 29 Palms, facing the highway, and it had and it had towed. Erica's parents reported her missing Wednesday, and the CPH notified them her car had been found in the desert. So the search for Erica did not turn up anything. So she is described as Caucasian, 5'7", brown hair, blue eyes. And I'm going to leave the numbers below in the description if anyone lives out in that area, you've seen anything, or of course share and spread the word. But let's go take a road trip, like I said before, out to the Shelton area. And let's go see if we can figure out where the campgrounds are, where they're searching. And supposedly, they found a few clues. 
So this little story is thickening and I'm starting to wonder if she was ever at the campground because she's a pretty girl. I think she would have, you know, stood out. Somebody would have seen her, the gas station, an eight hour trip. She's had to have stopped somewhere. All right, let's go on this road trip. So she starts off in the Walnut Creek area and I'm not going to go to her exact location and look into her any of that I just wonder where she is so the round trip is 16 hours and 27 minutes so go ahead and ignore that but for some reason when you put in going out to Shelton Road for some reason it pops into Los Angeles maybe that route coming to Shelton Road is better than coming if you're going to go to Jumbo Rocks I don't know but so she comes from Walnut Creek. She is going to drive over eight hours and she's not going to stop anywhere for gas or her car is not going to be seen on any of the roads. I don't think so. My question is, did she even leave the Walnut Creek area to go anywhere? So here is Jumbo Rocks. And then we come in through here and 29s, which turns into Oldale Road, is Highway 62. So Jumbo Rocks is the campground, supposedly where the car was found. But Shelton Road is this road right here. This is the road that we were on at 62, where... Let me see if we can get down here. This is where I showed you in the last video. Where I said she could have been parked this way on Shelton Road. Or she could have been on this side of Shelton Road. Because that is Shelton Road. But they say now that her car was out and she was facing the highway. So she was either facing this way or she was facing this way. And does this look like an area where you would leave your car and the kids in the neighborhood would come over and vandalize it? I just, I just don't, in my opinion, I don't think um, that is really what is going on. So let's go check out the um, campground okay so let's go ahead and hop on Google Earth and check out the terrain so we've got her car found at Shelton and County Road 26 and then we've got the Jumbo Rocks campsite down here where the last interview was and where the pictures are that I'm going to show you where they were searching so it looks like to me if she was even in this area nothing was found but they have a couple clues but they're not saying so the car is found here and it looks like you would come down here make a left drive down this windy road probably through the mountains into Jumbo Rock so you can actually get on this road Park Boulevard but you can't get back and this is where back in there down that road is where the campground is so the road is closed I don't know when this picture was taken of course 2014 so this is the area that they are searching for Erica Lloyd look at how desolate this area is I wonder what the temperature is in the Palm Springs area today or actually for the last week and who in their right mind would come out here alone to go camping I wonder if she had a boyfriend has a boyfriend, broke up with a boyfriend, somebody was bothering her. I don't know, my gut just tells me that this was a setup. 
that the car was brought there to look like maybe she went camping maybe she was talking about going camping it's just in my gut not adding up but that is it for this uh, video let's just go and see how far actually from where we were For a second, I thought that was somebody waving to me. I'm only kidding. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the area they are searching. I will attach that video in the description as long as some pictures that I found today of the search team out here searching. So, I think that is going to be a wrap, guys. Uh, thank everyone for coming in. Thank you for watching. Please like or dislike whichever you prefer and a subscribe everyone have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world and stay vigilant and COVID-19 free so guys wear them masks and with that I am out